Max Story back with you for chapter 16 in Blue Collar Kaizen, Leading Lean and Lean Teams. Chapter 16 is Listen to the Voices. And I've touched on this subtitle a few times. Take the time it takes so it takes less time. When I talk about listen to the voices, I'm talking about give the team a voice. Let them be heard. In the beginning, I didn't get this right. I got it wrong. I would always think I knew the most. I had the most experience relative to lean. I'd been on all kinds of teams, worked in multiple different facilities. Uh, so I thought everyone needed to listen to me. But as I, as I started reading leadership books, I came to the understanding that I needed to focus more on intentionally listening to the teams. And I got a great example I share in in, in uh, this chapter 16. And I'll tell you just a brief amount of it here. I was leading a team of, of high-level leaders, uh, about 12 or 10 or 12 of them were on this team. And we were doing a, a one-week lean event. It was going to be a lot of talking and a lot of thinking and a lot of planning. Not necessarily doing. 95% uh, of the events that I lead or led, we actually did something that week and got results by Friday and, and, and did a presentation. But this one was intentionally about planning. And so the first thing I realized was I had to do a lot of listening. I had to get the team to listen. All these high-level leaders, they didn't want to listen to each other. So for two and a half days, all I did was listen. All they did was talk and moan and groan and whine and point fingers and blame and all that stuff that people do. And I just listened. So finally, about two and a half days into it, middle of the day on Wednesday, they said I, I was wasting my time. I was wasting their time, and uh, they just wanted to get back to work. I said, so uh, you guys don't think there's anything you can do? And they had already said that over and over for two and a half days. I said, uh, let's put the final presentation up on the board, put the uh, PowerPoint up, and uh, the person who was helping me, I said, just type in there that there's nothing we can do. And then uh, schedule the final presentation, and we'll get the... We get the big dogs, the top leaders, to come in and, and you guys can present this final presentation and tell them there's nothing you can do. They said, we, we, can't, we can't do say that. I said, well, then you got to figure out what you can do. And I knew about the reason I said it when I said it was because of the timing. They had talked it all to death. Now they were ready to act. So I had to motivate and inspire them to act. And that's what that little comment did. And then the next few days, they achieved amazing results together and came up with a great plan, and they worked together, and they quit blaming and pointing fingers. But I had to listen first. If I would have went in on Monday trying to tell them what to do, they would have been like this, and Friday, nothing would have happened, and everybody would have been frustrated for a week. So as a lean leader, be sure to take time on the front end and listen first.